Hello there my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Ben 10 Protector of Earth. Reports of giant creatures trashing New Orleans are all over the airwaves. Do you think Animo's new base is there? No. He'd want something more secluded. But it's probably somewhere close. You better corral those creatures while I try to track the rogue DNA to its source. Hope we get to Gwen soon. She's so gonna owe me big time. Man, it seems like New Orleans just can't catch a break. First, uh, there's that whole hurricane that pretty much wipes it off the map, and holy crap. I'll admit, that looks pretty cool. And didn't I actually predict a diamond head bear? So, gee, one of my predictions actually came through. I kind of wonder, are we going to see a variant of this one, or is this going to be just a one-off kind of deal? And damn, they are pretty, uh, pretty powerful. They got some really good range. Honestly, fighting these guys just, just makes me wish even more that Diamond Head was playable in this game. Because honestly, Diamond Head is way cooler than crap like Forearms and Cannon Bolt. I don't really get why they didn't pick him. I mean, he's basically just as much of a hand-to-hand -hand fighter as Forearms is in this show. And now he can even do more with his, uh, uh, what do you call it when, I want to say like terrakinesis, but he's not really controlling earth as much as just forming crystals. So I don't really know. Anyway, we'll go with, uh, we'll get suction blast because we are playing as cannonballs right now. Hmm, seems like a decently strong attack. Not really sure how he would uh, pull that off. I mean, he's never really done anything like that in the show, but I guess they have to come up with something. And more wild mud monsters. In a big ass graveyard. Is that what New Orleans is known for? It's graveyard? I mean, sure, I'm, I think, at least I recall a lot of people dying in all those hurricanes, so I don't know, maybe they do need really expansive graveyards over there. But this just seems a bit egregious. It's like, hey, let's make a level about New Orleans. What do, what do you want to base it on? Uh, I don't know, graveyards or something. See, it just seems weird. Although it does kind of remind me of that one episode where they fight Hex in this graveyard and he brings like these stone gargoyles to life. That was a pretty cool episode. Kind of reminds me of the environment we're in right now. Let me kick the crap out of that cat thing. And this one as well. She just keeps showing up to ruin my day. Burn the cat! But seriously though, kids, don't burn your pets. Unless they're dead, then it's okay to burn... Oh jeez, it's Animo again. And he locks me in here and... Suddenly the place is on fire. How am I supposed to get those up there? I can't... Oh, by jumping. Okay, I was gonna... Think, oh, maybe they want me to walk on walls. Oh. Get Put out, out the here. fire, the hit the switch, the and then the door opens. That's a really weird way of opening a... Okay. We've been in there for two seconds, and all of a sudden it looks like freaking meteors hit the place. What the hell? What happened here? This The entire graveyard is just gone. Did Animo do this? How did he do this? Did he have some, I don't know, maybe uh, way big moles or something? I guess those could kind of cause something like this, but that's quite a stretch. Anyway, beat up some more bears. Because bears are always bad news. I'm pretty happy that we don't have those over here. I don't think they're that common in America either. Like, I'm sure if you live in, I don't know, rural parts in like the middle of the woods, you might encounter a bear on occasion, but if you're like in the big cities, there's no way in hell you're ever gonna see a wild bear. Come on, put out all the fire. But yeah, no bears over here in Europe. I don't know, either they were never there to begin with, or we just wiped them all out. Because honestly, I think I've mentioned this before, but the biggest, like, predatory critter, like terrestrial predatory animal I can think of that lives in my country is gonna be like the fox. I don't know, maybe we get, uh, I think they do have wolves in Germany, and they occasionally wander over the border. But that's like a, a rarity. 
I guess we do have some uh, marine predators. We have like some seals, I don't know, sea lions. A couple of, uh, I don't know. We have had the occasional, like, beach dolphin or whale or whatever. Although that's also a pretty rare occurrence. Anyway, back to the game, because I don't think this line of thought was really going anywhere, nor was it that interesting to listen to. But then again, when is my commentary ever interesting to listen to? A little bit of a self-deprecating humor. Self-depreciative? self -de I don't I, I don't remember what the exact word is, but it's somewhere in that ballpark. Anyway, Wild Vines goes ahead and smashes up some stuff. I quite dig these bears. They're cool looking. They have a lot of moves. Fairly challenging to fight. I mean, as much as any enemy in the, the, this game can be considered challenging. That Stinkfly thing is pissing me off. It needs to die. First break the hive though, so it doesn't respawn, and then just swipe it out of the air. Like the big bug that it is. I don't know about you, but I freaking hate it, especially in the summer, that you can't leave your windows open without getting bugs everywhere, and holy crap, the bridge is falling apart as we're crossing it. Uh, oh, I think I was not supposed to... Oh, I was actually supposed to do that. Now we're on a boat. All of a sudden. Even though I'm pretty sure that we were first going from left to right, and there was no, like, water or ship to be found, and now we're going from right back to left, and all of a sudden, here, here's a boat. Also, the city is destroyed and full of giant holes that we are not going to bother explaining. But whatever, I think I'm, uh, maybe reaching into it a bit too much, and I'm almost at on the tricks energy, so I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. And they're trapping me in a corner. Damn it, bears. You can throw a boulder that goes absolutely nowhere and run like hell. Oh, we can actually roll faster than he runs. Alright, forearms. I don't know why I really keep going back to forearms, because I think he sucks. Honestly, in this game, forearms is probably the worst fighter out of all of them. I mean, Heat Blast's got a good projectile game, Wild Vine's got great range, Accelerator's got good speed and moves a lot when he attacks, and Cannonbolt is just all over the place. Forearms is by far the worst one. Which, I guess, is why they give them to you at the start. Because giving you the best one right out of the bat would just be broken. It's probably why they give you Wildvine last, because I would argue that Wildvine is the best one. And Tornado burned these guys right out of the air. It is so good. Seriously though, how did they think this move would not be broken in any way? Um, let's see. I guess we get Spin Cycle, I don't really know why. I guess I've been neglecting Cannon Bolt lately. Although I don't really like using Cannon Bolt in combat that much either. Maybe I should have just gone for Heat Blast or Wild Vine. Those are definitely my two most used. Oh, this needs to go over there. Alrighty. There we go, now what's in there? There's gotta be some... Oh! Okay, so Ben knows how to move a boat all of a sudden. Big ass oil tanker, whatever it is. And then suddenly there's a collectible up there. Which I guess we'll get. Okay, so do we just jump to the street? Hey, there's the RV and level is over. Well, that was one hell of a wacky level. I'm not really sure what we even accomplished. I don't get it. Some of those mutants flew in from the ocean. Does it even make sense that Animo would have a base way out there? Well, Clancy did say that Dr. Animo's new base supplied him with energy. Of course! He must be on one of those offshore rigs. The plumbers saved one from a space quid back in 1970. I never asked this, but is the rust bucket seaworthy? Haha, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's the original all-terrain vehicle you're talking about. But just in case, grab a couple of buckets out of the storage hatch. Wait, so they're gonna go over there in the RV? When we just pretty much hijacked a boat? What is that thing? Is that like a crocodile or...? I don't know, didn't get a good look at it. Anyway, next up we have the oil refinery. Where Dr. Animo is keeping Gwen. And it's time for a boss fight. And they actually... Okay, that just looks ridiculous. Surely there was like a boat around they could borrow real quick. 
Avast, ye swabbies, and swash me buckles. Someone's gonna get a taste of my four-fisted knuckles. Ben, stay focused. This isn't a pleasure cruise we're on. There's some sort of subspace transmission emitting from this refinery. I'll see if I can track it while you find Dr. Animo. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you, Ben. Your cousin needs you, and you can do it. <sighs> right. Wonder why he's so scared all of a sudden. Is he maybe afraid of heights? Doesn't he want to climb the ladder? I don't think they've ever mentioned in the show that he's afraid of heights. That'd definitely be something weird for Ben, personally. You've arrived! Wonderful! You've seen the glorious creations I've made using your DNA! Imagine what I'll do when I have the rest! Well, I wouldn't bet on getting the rest, though. And actually, quite a twist they're pulling off here, because I recall someone in the comments saying at the end of, like, uh, the episode where Animo grabbed Gwen in the laboratory that, oh, were they using future Dr. Animo? Well, I guess the answer is a little bit of no and a little bit of yes. Because in the episode Ben 10,000, we get a look at future Dr. Animo, who's basically just a head on a body of a big-ass white gorilla. And here he seems to have made some sort of robotic white gorilla body or a suit, and he's still in it, and he's still, like, human. So, I guess this was kinda inspired by Future Dr. Animo, but at least they didn't screw up and just put Future Dr. Animo in there, because that would just be weird. Because I did notice, and I think someone else noticed as well in the comments, that uh, the design for Vilgax they're using in this game is the Ben 10,000 Vilgax. You can uh, tell that by looking at his left arm, which is way bigger and bulkier than his other one, and has like these holes in it. So, that's kind of weird how they managed to screw something like that up so badly. I mean, that is just, did they not do the research? Or maybe this is like an alternate timeline where future Vilgax came back to the past to destroy Earth or something. I don't know, maybe they're gonna allude to that somewhere down the line. But anyway, yeah, kick the animal's ass a little bit and he, he'll climb up on one of these, uh... Crusher things and you just need to kind of wait for him to pick one and then step on the switch. It'll go off, he'll fall off and then you can kick his ass in a little quick time event. I hate that you have to go back to Ben to initiate the quick time events. You know, you knock him in there. Oh, we're gonna blow that up, I bet. Yep. The suit's not taking an awful lot of damage, though. I mean, I, I would have expected that explosion to maybe blow its arm off. Maybe that's a bit graphic for the uh, typical audience this game would get. Oh, careful. Let's set him on fire. He's definitely got some powerful moves. Not the most challenging boss ever. Tornado once again completely destroys him. And he definitely seems to sit there for an overly long period of time. Come on, Animo, just give it up. Your suit's smoking. Definitely running out of steam here. Just gonna get him down. Pick one, pick your doom, doesn't matter. You're done. That one? Fine. Suit yourself. Down he goes, and let's finish this off. Back into... where the hell... there's Ben. Alright. Boom. Oh, please tell me we're gonna crush him. Oh, I, I really wanna see that now. Oh, yes, 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 drop the thing. This is gonna get bloody. Come on, come on. What do you... No, you're pulling him out of there. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to see some stuff straight out of Mortal Kombat. Man, I feel ripped off now. Gwen! Grandpa! Ben! So, I see you avoided becoming a hideous mutant freak. Barely. Too bad I can't say the same for you. Whoa, what in the world was Animo doing with a satellite communicator? Talking to Vilgax. Apparently they're on each other's buddy list. Squidface is orbiting the Earth right now. He's planning to suck the entire planet into the Null Void. We are gonna need help. Lots of it. Come on, we're heading to Washington, D.C. Cool. 
while we're there, do you think we can get a law passed making it illegal for you to enter a kitchen? Man, Ben is kind of an asshole. Really starting to hate him, honestly. Also, how did Gwen get herself untied? Neither Ben nor Grandpa did it. Anyway, next time, we're going to Washington, D.C. to do stuff in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.